Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor!' I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly, I remember it was in the bleak December and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, mainly I would sought to borrow from my book Surcease of Sorrow. Sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore. Nameless here forevermore, and the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now to still the beating of my heart I stood repeating, to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, this it is and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then, what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more! Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped the stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, nor a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mine of lord and lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat and nothing more, and this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. By the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven. Ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore. Off the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil. Prophet still, if bird or devil. By that heaven that bends above us, by that god we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the rust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore.